to the world. Subscribe now to the Hot 97 YouTube channel. It's Ebro in the Morning with Laura Stiles and Rosen. Congratulations. What you got up today? You played yourself. Oh, mine would be the um, clubhouse premiere of DJ Academics over the Yo, weekend. Yo, that was a good time, man. I had well, a good time. Wait, you were in the room? What was I? All right, give your brother button, too. Congratulations. What? You that played phenomenal. yourself. Phenomenal. Yo, people want to sit around listening to people scream at DJ Academics on a Saturday night? No, so here's how it started. What and is you know, going And on? you know this. People asked, and I think it was Academics' friends, who they really get the button. Had Academics on there for like an hour, and he was having like a, you know, they have the little thing. You had it happen to you, Rose. No, Bro, I didn't have come in there. I didn't and they do the, the little welcome, welcome so-and-so. Yeah. Well, that's all it was for the first hour, and it was people just having fun. And then, and then, the people who don't like academics started showing up. That's when it got crazy. So real quick, just to be clear, they they sat in a chat room on a Saturday for over an hour, and then it got bad? And then it got bad. How long does one need? I just, I don't know how long one needs to Yo, sit it talk. went on for hours, bro. This went on for four or five hours. What are you talking about? Yo, and I'm going to tell you why I enjoyed it. Because track. you had 21 Savage and other artists. Well, first, shout to Guap, this artist named Guap Dad 4000 who wants to smack the skin off Academic's face. Been trying to fight him for a while. It hit the clubhouse limit. Like, it was like 6,000 people or 5,000 some people in there. And Academics was defending his position. And this is why I enjoyed it, y'all. This is very important. Because Academics posts a lot of Rapper beef and nonsense yeah, say, from the streets. Explain what he does to people. He because... he posts a lot of rapper beef and nonsense from the streets on his Instagram page. That's a big Instagram page. And he gets money from a his Instagram and b record labels that he promotes music for. And what ends up happening in the streets is a lot of these dudes who are no name dudes are out here doing things for clout, and he's posting it. And these dudes are getting themselves in trouble. So what they was really yelling at academics about was, yo, bro, don't you have any moral responsibility? That was really what the argument was about. Mm -hmm. Because you had people like Meek Mill going, my man, you don't care about what's going on in the street. and You don't care about these people that you're harming or potentially setting up that are kids using using their uh, Instagram or their videos to post and just trying to get clout to get out the hood and make money. And academics was like, well, don't post it on social media. And don't call me and ask me to post it. And don't do this. And Meek and them was like, yo, but your platform is so big, bro. You should have some sort of responsibility. And so they was asking academics to have responsibility. That's really what the argument was about. Mm. And that is a good point and very, very fair. And that's what I was really entertained by the whole time because 21 Savage might be the most uh, uh, uh. Well articulated conflict resolution officer, conflict resolution counselor I've ever heard. He so is he the jumped hood in, He jumped in and played and played the let's let's all talk about this. What? Twenty one Savage was on point with the conflict resolution, my guy. It was, and I guess him and academics are cool to some degree. So he was like. You know, academics, they got a point here. What do you have to say? And then Meek Mill and some other people would say, and 21 would be like, yo, they got a point too. But then he would say, yo, but Meek, these guys are poor. We need to hold these guys accountable for posting this street nonsense on on uh, social media. Why are they, you know, we need to start talking to these dudes in the hood that think it's a good idea to make YouTube videos and put nonsense on social media. 21 Savage was on his game. But didn't, didn't the whole event just serve to push the importance and value of academics BS isn't all of it like isn't everyone responsible in their own clout chasing ways for making this talentless hack relevant oh don't call him names he man. is he don't is this has been the thing the whole time and everyone continues to feed it Every, I wouldn't say he's talentless no he no he a hack He's ta- he, he's he's a he's a great um he's great at making money on the internet and good for him. That's, but that's cool. talent. Mm. Mm. I mean, look before exploiting were- exploiting people and their problems on video to make money and Cover, promoting well, terrible rap. Long to make before money. long before everyday struggle, 
I, I watched academics videos on YouTube where this is years ago where he would cover what's going on in rap in the street and would be. He's been doing this. This ain't new. Okay, so where's the talent? The talent is the fact that he, like you said, he used it to monetize the internet. That's not really talent, though. In that's the way a that hustle. And, and that's hustle. That's a hustle. That's talent. Yeah, and to, his, and to his credit, there were a lot of people doing it. He wasn't the only one doing it. So he was the only one that stood out, though. Okay. You may not like it, and I'm I may just still not, waiting on the I talent. I may not part. think it's talent, but right. you know, people say I don't got talent. You know what I'm saying? People say you don't got talent. So okay. you know, if if somebody takes something and monetizes it, and people like it, or it galvanizes people in some way, whether yeah, but good Ebro, or that's bad. the whole point. The point is, it's not done with talent. When you use beef, when you use putting beef at the forefront, everyone watches car accidents. Well, but see, this is but see, here's the thing. There's a lot of car accidents out here, and some stand out more than others. And this is what everybody was saying in the clubhouse room. You falling into why I was so intrigued by the whole convo is because you had real street dudes in there jamming academics up like, yo, fam, you making money off the hood, and you don't care what happens in the hood. Okay, and they was like, you need, to cha- you need to change what you're doing. You need to be held accountable. That's why this thing was so intriguing to me. Because I was hearing real street dudes. Because here's the thing about academics. Nobody ever sees him. He don't go out. He don't go nowhere. He don't go to no parties. He's Correct. scared of everybody. Yeah, so nobody would actually ever step to him. So he can't be held accountable. But he jumped on his clubhouse app thinking it was going to be a good time. Oh, and, and, cats start, and cats and started circle. showing up. For a full circle. That's why he gets Congratulations. Let's get into it. Let's get into why I was really intrigued. Because everybody was pissed about the Takashi 6ix9ine thing. And the amount and because of academics, this Takashi 6ix9ine thing really blowing up. And if y'all recall on this program, I was letting y'all know what it was from early with the Takashi 6ix9ine. From super early. That it's not something to be played with. And you got this dude who's perpetuating a lifestyle that he's not really from. And it's going to end up with some real, real problems. Some real problems for a lot of people. But everybody thought I was just being a hater. And everybody, oh, but the likes on YouTube and the likes over here. And the likes. That's... Now, now, real talk, Where academics just bought a giant crib somewhere. Where that money come from? That money came from perpetuating this Takashi 6 9 ish and getting paid out by very powerful people in the, in the record game. To perpetuate this, he got paid on it. I agree, I agree. But that that goes back to my whole argument that we have to play this whole game where we have to talk about talent. Takashi isn't talented. Academics ain't talented. They may be smart. They may be cunning. They may take advantage of people's worst instincts on the internet. That's not talent, bro. That's not talent. And that whole you got to respect it. At least you did. No, I don't. And I don't respect it. Damn, poor academics, man. Can't, can't Not poor. Play. He's got a great house. Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> you played yourself.